So, I'm your host of the most, Big Dave Bell Bell. What's up, people? I'm going to chatter on. I know some of y'all don't like it when I chatter on, but I'm going to chatter on for a minute. So, we're going to talk about how you live when you can't ride a motorcycle. Stick around. Yeah, so a lot of people know me, know I raise my kids, and unfortunately I have to do it a lot of times alone, about 90% of the time, as their mother kind of lost her freaking mind. So anyway, that being said, you know, a lot of people ask, well, yo, man, we never even knew you ride a motorcycle. My baby girl, Jazzy Bell, who is my oldest daughter. Yeah, I had all boys except my two youngest girls. Better. So anyway, <laughs> Red Solo Cup, there ain't nothing in it. Not you anyway. Anyway, when she was little, she said a lot of things. And she was, she was my heart. You know, I didn't get to see my youngest daughter a lot for many, many years. So Jasmine was my daughter. She's the only girl in the house full of guys. And when she was little, she said all kind of funny things. Like, I'd say, yeah, you're going to grow up and leave me and not even ever talk to me again. No, Daddy, I'll be here forever. Yeah, she's gone off to college and doing her own thing. And needs to say, she all grown up and gone on about her way. So anyway, she asked me one time, she said, Dad, why are you riding motorcycles? And at that time, I had a, an old shovel head and an FZR, I think a couple of dirt bikes. She said, Dad, you going to get, I know her mom was the rest of it, and her mom was still good at that time. Dad, you going to get killed. She didn't know what killed was at that point, probably. So she kept on, and her mom kept on. So I promised I'd sell the bikes, and I did. I regret it. I had a lot of time them bikes back. But anyway. So anyway. I gave it up and I promised I wouldn't ride a bike until she is grown. Ironic. The way it works out. So I went without riding a bike for about 18 years. I mean, I go out every once in a while. And, you know, see a bike or borrow a bike off a buddy or... You know, if we was out and about on vacation, rent a bike and go for a ride. And I wouldn't ride, you know, let them know. So I kind of, you know how husbands do, they stick around and see what they can get away with. So anyway, I, I gave it up and then once, you know, Jazzy turned 18, I went out and bought me an iron head. No, I bought me a, a Yamaha, B-Star. Bobbed it out, moved that for a while, and then I bought me an iron head. And then I had a buddy I sold a couple basket cases to, and he offered them back to me, same price I sold to him for. And they're sitting back there, I need to put them together. And you know, of course, I've had bread for, well, bread's gone now, but I've had that Harley dream in my eyes as long as I remember. So, what do you do whenever you don't have a bike or you can't ride or you went down and you can't ride no more? Uh, leave a comment and like, let me know. Anyway, until next time, I was just have one of those moments I've been kind of feeling bad the last couple of days. I ain't been able to get on my bike and I went outside to go to the store and go. And I started it up and I couldn't hardly get my leg over it because I was hurting a little bit and I decided to take the car but I just looked at the bike and I was like, hmm. I remember the time. Till next time, get out here and see this big old world. Live a little, laugh a little, love a little. Like and subscribe so you can get more free going. And don't forget, hit that bell so you can tell when we are.